Bonjour! So, we are back in Create a World with Sunset Valley. And I was uh, just, you know, working on the textures, you know, delineating them, well, blur blurring the lines between them, but more. I've changed, I think I've changed at least the, the base one for the, the grass base one. It's a bit lighter. It's, uh, actually, it might, might have, I might have gone back to the original one for now, but that's something that can be changed very easily. So, but it's easier to to see the line of demarcation between two different textures and if they are not blurred enough. So, for instance, like here, I haven't worked on that part here yet. Here, um, it's a bit abrupt, so I'm going to blur a bit more uh, the lines here and have them. I'm trying to have them like seamless. <laughs> so I still have to work on that whole area. I've I've been focusing mostly on the, on the heel here, and I'm trying to find what types of tree I'm going to use. So I, I, I like this one here. I'm going to try to have a mix because on that one there was only that that tree, like multiple times, but that one. So only one type, and here it's a mix between pine trees and what is this one? I don't know. Not ash. Is it an oak tree? Not not even. Ooh, this one could be a change. I like the color is different. The 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 leaves are different. Mm hmm. Small one. Okay. And chestnut. Okay. Might use one of these. Oh, I still don't know what it is. <laughs> okay, hold on. Is that black gum? Oh, it's black gum. I have no idea what it's a black gum. This is a type of tree that is everywhere in Sunset Valley, and and I'd like to have more variety there. So I'm going to try and have like a mix of different types of uh, trees there, and and also have some pine trees over there because there weren't like only that one like the black gum one what else before i go to the main topic of the day um i've changed the location of the diner so at first i had so it used to be here then i moved it there but then i thought that it was a bit too hidden over there so i've moved it from there to here. So it's now here. So no worries. Here it's dipping, you know. Uh, it's as if not on the same level as the road. A bit like as if it was in a pit. But it won't be like that, of course. Uh, it, here I'm keeping it because if I, I do the whole thing, my game is going to crash again. So here I just wanted to have a visual of the, of the lot so that I could add a pretend road here and I'm going to add a pretend sidewalk here um, so using here set road as active place sidewalk so there is only one road in um, Sunset Valley and it's the base one like that in every world I've done and you cannot change the base one but you can create your own uh, custom roads that's what we're going to do it's the main topic for today <laughs> it's roads so uh, let's place first a sidewalk. This one is just only for uh, deco decoration, like like just to to have it because mm -hmm, when you're painting the the ground, the demarcation line is not at the same. It doesn't stop where the sidewalk stops, as you can see here. So I cannot have it here. I mean, when I'm painting, it goes like over there or here. It stopped there. So instead we can use the sidewalk as sidewalk as kind of a decoration, but don't do that too much because these are sidewalks, so the Sims can use them. So if I use them too much as decor, um, same thing, that's going to slow down the game because the Sims are going to try and use them and they're not going anywhere or also, if I manage to ugh, <laughs> to use with parsimony, okay. 
something like that. Yeah, I'm kind of pretending that the road goes like that. Um, mm -hmm. I'm thinking that I might actually have... Maybe I can do that. Okay, so sidewalk. And we're going to uh, place an intersection here. Up. And should be over there. And then, okay, so I might have the site will go up till there, but I won't do that right now. I think I can show you the here. See the so the tide side what the texture the paint goes just there. And if I try and have it even on the smaller um size, like one, it's still going to be let's have at one hundred and circle or square. It's going to be too much, <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't. It's not going to stop on on the edge of the tile here. It goes a bit over. What else have I done since last time? Not that much. I've I've been painting, <laughs> so mostly I'm going to have more trees over there, but maybe have uh, some oak trees. So where where they not red. I'm going to keep keep them green as in the original one they are green. So yeah, maybe have a cluster of them in some places and pine trees. I'm not going to do a whole forest, just a few, you know, like a grove here, a grove there. Also, I might continue the line here of uh, cypress tree um, up till there. I'll see how it goes. I, I removed the, these to work on the train, but I'll have uh, something, a small wood here and try to have a bit more uh, variety again because they were only black gum uh, trees. Okay, so the roots, the idea. Oops, I'm in the balloon. Hello, people. They are very, they are a bit scary. <laughs> a bit flat. <laughs> So yeah, the root. So let's start with the fork I want to remove. So where is it? Over there. So there, there is a military base here. So I can't, I cannot do that in game, of course. So here I've removed the root that was there, but I cannot do that in edit town. So I'm going to have two saves. So one with that world and one with the original world where I've just changed a few things in edit town. Not much, but in edit time, you cannot remove the, the roots. So here I've removed them. So I'm, I'm thinking of removing also this one. So pretty easy and uh, pretty easy, but I cannot seem to be able to pick that one. <laughs> that intersection over there. Come here. Doesn't want to, to be picked up and deleted. Oh, I understand that. Actually, up. Um, removing also the spawners. There are so many spawners in that world. So the idea is to, to only have a road here and to go to the waterfall here. And so here I'm going to have like a big boulder, I guess, <laughs> blocking the way. And I might raise uh, the terrain so that it's like part of the hill here, over there. And in that case, I'm going to remove that a uh, lot. And in the original version, I, ca I cannot remove, uh, well, I can remove the lot, but then the road goes to nowhere, so I'm not sure. So I'm going to remove it for sure. It's a 64 by 64. It's huge. <laughs> There's like nothing on it. There is a, a rabbit hole building and that's about it. So, so yeah, 64 by 64. The size is there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'll, yeah, removing it. Yes. And yeah, I'm going to work on the road uh, and here I'll do the terrain a bit more later and it's going to be part of the hill. Uh, so that's, that the whole space here won't be accessible, it's just part of the decor, just like here. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to work a bit on that road here because um, there is the same, the same road everywhere in town and it's not... It's usually not the case in, in towns, in, in real life towns. You have different kind of roads depending where, 
where you live. Sometimes there is no sidewalk, for instance. So I'm thinking that, oh gosh, I'm lost. Where am I? Okay. <laughs> here we are. Okay. Um, that stretch of road here. No need for a sidewalk because it's more like a country road or mountain road. So I'm going to remove that, but I'll, for now I'm keeping the two intersections here. Is it? Yeah, it's that stretch here. Okay, so keeping the intersection there so that I have a better idea of what, what the shape of the road because um, I'm going to create a new one. So it's a bit like for the terrain, you can pick and choose the textures here and so there are different layers because there is that's for the the street the road and that's for the sidewalk this one is not mandatory but uh, we can use it to have it for instance disappear like we pretend there is a sidewalk but there is no sidewalk so i'm going to to have it there and then this one is for the intersections of the crosswalk mostly and also when the road uh, goes uh, like that for the sidewalk, like there is, it's um, curved, it's not straight, you know, uh, so that's that's part two. So I'm going to try and use, uh, I'm not going to create a whole new uh, road, like textures and extra, but instead try to find what I need in um, existing roads. Uh, from other EA worlds. So uh, let's try and find something there. So in roads, I've got all of these. I'm going to go, let's go Apalitza and as Asphalt Ranch. What was it I was looking for? It was like street base. So this one. So if it's, yeah, I like this one, but it's not really not the same as um the one in the streets like uh, like in the ones from the base game so then details street detail okay then sidewalk was there a sidewalk if, if there was i might mix and match with something else <laughs> so let's see uh that was this one yeah the sidewalk is dirt so yeah i'm going to pick this one let's see so then it's the second one is sidewalk base and okay this one and then there is an opacity map for the si sidewalk so the sidewalk is going to disappear so then to sum up for opacity uh, i've selected this one seeing it i'm going to have to change it because it's a bit too blocky like this there is no big gradient so the corner texture so it was this one then this one is this one and the last one, crosswalk texture, here we go, it's going to be yellow. <laughs> okay, so now that the road is done, let's have it as active here. And so set it as active and then I'm going to place it and then I can edit it if I'm not happy with an aspect of it. So placing it like that. And let's see if we need more than one stretch of road. That was only one, so should be enough. Uh, I like I like doing roads. <laughs> I like the tool. I'm having fun with it. <laughs> okay, it's a bit like dough, you know, some dough that like when you're making a pizza <laughs> or something. So I've kept the intersection here, but I won't need it. Uh, so here, just wanted to check the road first and see. And of course, the texture is not going to be that blocky here. Um, I'm going to to work on it a bit more later, but yeah, I think it's not. It's too also blocky here. It's too it needs to fade away a bit more on the edge. You know, to to wane to disappear a bit more on the edge, um, as if it's like dirt and then there is grass growing on it. So um, to do that, I'm going to edit the the root. So it's very easy to do. So we cannot edit this one, but we can edit this one. And the opacity here, I'm going to go and pick the one from Alsimhara, I think that's a good one, but Shang Simla. Let's try this one. Mm. The trail. 
there is like a very good let's try this one. Oh, I, I think it's going to disappear on both sides so my, maybe not this one yeah disappears on both sides um, edit but it's very good for a trail so I'm going to use it for a trail somewhere dirt road um, yeah maybe this one this one is pretty good yeah um, yeah I'm going with this one for now and keeping the, the color of the road for now but um, I can easily change that too um, so, oops, yeah, remove the intersection without saying anything because <laughs> I'm already uh, set road as active. So, here we go. I'm trying to keep the same pathway there, the same imprint that was already there, about the same because the intersection was there and so the road goes like that and then let's remove that bit here and the last one will be in one go. So yeah, for two roads to connect, two, two bits of roads to connect, uh, it needs to get to be the lighter blue. Uh, when it's a blue like that, it's not connected. Here we go, it's a long road. So then to end the road, we need like a big intersection like that. And I'm going to put this one, but uh, I might edit it again. <laughs> because it's this one, place road intersection. Yeah, it's not a pretty one. And also I think the crosswalk, the crosswalk is like, yeah, yellow like that. I don't know. Uh, let's see what else there is to use there instead. Um, so I'm going to go back to Shang Simla, see what we have. Uh, yeah, okay. Like nothing. <laughs> Good. And that's not pretty, but it can be hidden uh, with the terrain painting. So I'm going to paint uh, with a, a dirt uh, texture there. And hopefully these won't be visible anymore. And if they are, maybe add some bushes <laughs> there. So for now it looks like that. So the I'm keeping the, the, the texture for now. I'll see if it really doesn't work. I'll change it, but I'll have a better idea when once I'm done with the texture of that. And another road I would like to do differently. I'm thinking of doing this one also a bit different. So either with that, or we can create another uh, road. And another one, maybe the ending of that road here. And then there are the trails. So <laughs> the trails there. I'm going to use the Opaz City from. Shang Simla from the trail uh, from Shang Simla. It's a very good one. And the the one from World Adventures are pretty good. So I'm not going to remove these for now because that starting from the road. Maybe this one. Maybe this one here. Not easy because I don't want to change the whole look of the town. So I'm thinking I'm going to, to do this one. Because this one leads from the road, okay, but to the beach here <laughs> so and it goes yeah maybe they didn't have to pave the whole uh, way to there so maybe more of a, a, a trail instead of a pathway um so let's create a custom road here i don't really care for the the road itself the street itself but i'm going to go with all the the layers from the same it's not a stone trail i'm going to go with dirt trail even though mm, i'm not going to use this one i don't think so let's let's do that first and then we can edit it so then naming the road um okay so here we go it's done uh set it as active and here i i'm not going to use these but i'm going to use that and Oh gosh, I don't remember where it was. <laughs> Let's see, it was there. Here, you can see the trail here. So, yeah, I'm not that keen on the on the texture itself. So I'm going to change the texture. It's almost transparent. It's a pretty good one to to have in the as a trail, a real trail, instead of having a sidewalk there. <laughs> so, what we can do is actually we don't need to only use because that's what I'm going to change. I'm not, I don't need to do the road. So that's the one 
the only one I need to change, but I can have something that is not from a road. I can have something from, uh, let's write this one, some stones there, flax stones there. Ooh, kind of like it. <laughs> but yeah, same thing. Maybe they, they, it's a bit of a hidden beach over there. So I don't know if it's an official trail. <laughs> It looks a bit official with that. I might use that for the cemetery. That would be neat to have these there, uh, going up to the cemetery. What do you think? Um, I could change that by using those instead. I don't actually mind that these are sidewalks. I don't want to change too many things, but I don't know. <laughs> I thought these ones look kind of neat. Or maybe more of a dirt trail. Let's try it with it first and then if it doesn't work, I can change it afterward. Okay, so of course I'm going to change the texture under it, but yeah, maybe not keep stones. I'll see, depending on the texture I'm going to use under it, because it's not going to be this one. <laughs> I'm going to have like, maybe a mix of sand and dirt. Okay, let's see. What can we have instead? Dry grass? <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe not here. Maybe elsewhere in the mountain where there are other trails. Dark sand. Might be this one, but at the same time here, it's a bit weird to have sand here. Leaning more towards a dirt trail. Maybe lighter. Ooh. Ooh, I like this one. I like the, the red tinge in the middle. Ooh, I like this one. Okay, I'm going to keep this one for now. Yeah, it's more coherent with the, the sand here. Like, in a way, the the... The trail, the, the dirt here dilutes into sand, <laughs> dissolve into sand. I don't know. <laughs> here I'm thinking of, of creating a trail, adding one, so that it goes there and of two uh, Stonehenge here. <laughs> that would be one walk, one trail here, and another one here, and a last one for now because I might find another um, place where one is needed. I could add one here too to go to that lot here. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Uh, I'll still work a bit more on the on the different textures there, I'll, on having them meshing a bit more together like here and have that a bit more over there. Uh, I'm going to, to to keep the darker tones over there um, because I think it's a good way to make it look like a wooded area. And yep, that's the plan. I'm I'm thinking of changing other routes. So another another one. I've said this one here, and maybe a bit country. Uh, maybe this one here, more posh. Uh, same thing. We don't really need the sidewalk because the, those lots, they, they don't really need sidewalks. And and here I'm not sure for that one. But yeah, that's, uh, that's where I'm at here uh, with Create a World. I'll see you in the next one. A bientôt!